I'm Ian Elliott Carter. And I'm Mick Thomas. And this is the Intellectual Controverse Podcast. All these things produce it. Why? What is this? And, then, and that goes into the more of the mystery of what is life. I was about to ask you, like, you know, because <laughs> you, you're, all this you're, stuff? Very, you're very vocal about being agnostic, right? Yeah. So when it comes to such like, stuff like that, and we, we, we all come to this conclusion that we don't know. We're not going right, to Right, right. That's the answer the for everything. That's why I'm but agnostic. You know, right. It, it's very, it, it interests me when you, when you say stuff like, you know, this is that. And, yeah. you know, it's coming to a conclusion I don't know of. Yeah. This, this is why I do believe in God, right? Because there's gotta be an answer. There's got it's it's, it's but it, I don't think it's gonna lead to nothing. But but it's, it breaks down to this, and this is the same argument that always goes in. It's the chicken and egg theory. Of course, yeah, in, I get you. Right, right. Then what created God? And, yeah, and, 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 and that's so one that means, question that people just pretend like they got the answer to, and they don't. Well, and I that's that's why I, I believe maybe it's just infinite, mm -hmm. and we just can't grasp our minds around the, of the, the, the definition of infinity, mm -hmm. uh, because we think there should be a beginning and end. Well, mm -hmm. like, for example, that movie that we watched, spoiler alert ahead if you haven't seen the movie Predestination, but that movie, um, what was great about it was that the only way that he can have life is him going, to, yeah, doing, and he has to do, you know, these things, you know, he has to become a woman, he has to... You know, da 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 da. You've not seen this movie. What he's talking about is just so weird. Yeah, yeah. it's so weird. <laughs> you should totally check the movie out. But you see what I'm saying? Like, it's yeah. infinite. Like, mm -hmm. he has to continue this role just so he can live yeah. for the rest of his life. And and maybe that could be a theory to it. I don't know. But I don't, but I, I just wish huma humans would not be so confident and cocky. And to say, I have the answers, you're wrong, and I'm right. And I'm going to persecute you if you yeah. act this way or or social suicide Absolutely. if you like you know how many times it happens to me like if i go on a date with somebody and i just say i'm agnostic <laughs> nope nope that happens a lot and you know i feel bad for this because i'm more open-minded now but there yeah. was this girl that i didn't date but we were thinking talking. about date talking, right, right, right. yeah and this was like 10th grade okay as soon as she said that she believed in reincarnation mm -hmm. i just stopped talking to her you right, know? and I was so wrong for that. Yeah. I should have, you know. Now I would just listen, just you know, just for humor. Right. But you know, I just, I was just so disrespectful, and rude, like, huh? Deleted. I just didn't even want to put like, that in my even, life. Don't even talk to me about that. Don't stuff. even talk. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I was so wrong for. I, I regret doing that. You know, yeah. because she was a very nice girl. Wh whatever she believes in, that's cool. That's, yeah. I don't. I whatever you believe it. in. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Do what you got to do. Boo. But you know, at that yeah. time, I was like, "What? You're so what? really? We come back as an animal? You're an idiot. Go get away from me. Go." <laughs> but you know, I I still don't believe that. But you right. know, I would. I'm more open minded to listen to because, why she believes because that. you don't know exactly exactly because you don't because I don't know. And I, and I wish people would just live on that way and stop treating each other like shit, man. Mm -hmm. And or or just like man. Uh, what my biggest thing and recipes to my grandma. She was a huge missionary, mm -hmm. so um, that was her favorite position. Bad joke. So. <laughs> she was, <laughs> so, so uh, sorry, I always go for the joke, and I hate that I do sometimes. Go Rest in peace, Grandma. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. But no, she was a missionary, and she, so she would go to these like places in Africa and Asia who are less developed. And <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm trying to listen. Yeah, go yeah. ahead. But but would go there and push her evangelical mm -hmm. uh, uh, prophecies. These people who are don't even know what's going on in society. Mm -hmm. And what frustrated me was like. You know, the you're you're basically pushing people into your belief system. Yeah, you're not letting people just to see what the world is and let them develop their own mind. Like as an agnostic, I would never tell my daughter. If my daughter wants to come up to me and says, "Hey, I want to start following Christian principles," cool. girl, go ahead. I'm glad because I like don't that. know the answer. If yeah. that's what you want to do, I'm not going to force my beliefs. Now, if you have some questions, yeah. I'll give you my oh, opinion. Well, this reminded me too. We were at the um, I had to take my son in the emergency room um, mm -hmm. a couple weeks ago. Okay. And in this questionnaire, the lady asked me, one of them was, what is your son's religion? My son's five. Yeah. I was like, I'll let him decide that when he wants when to. He's when he's right, comfortable. Right, right, right. Like, it's the answer I gave. I was, I was just yeah. so like, why would you even ask me this? Like, he yeah. doesn't, he barely even knows what God is. Like, yeah. you know, he's going what I'm telling him, and then he's asking me, can I have a hot dog or candy later? And he doesn't really care. And, and don't you think that's going to get to a point, too, like our political system? Like, yeah. if they're asking that now, what happens, like, in a couple hundred years, like, which political affiliation do you follow? Yeah. The Republicans or us? It's that team mentality. Are you Christian? 
Christian? Are you a not? Exactly. Like, are you Muslim? Are you not? Are you Jewish? Are you not? Do you believe in faith or not? Like, Absolutely. What happens to just people who are like, dude, I don't know. And that is probably the closest answer that we're that, at, that to, to, that, to truth that we're going to get. And that I have my personal beliefs and my personal opinions. But at yeah. the end of the day, I'm going to tell you I don't know because I can't give you a, I can't give you evidence to my opinions. Right. I really can't. But, you know, I'll say this, though, when it comes to that, when it comes to God, okay, it should be all love. You should see a love perf- uh, reflection in other people. It shouldn't right. be like my rules and regulation. If I'm getting a, that's that's where I see God. In mm-hmm. my, that's my personal opinion. If somebody's giving me love and someone's giving me a very great vibe, right. where I'm, I, I feel emotionally loved. Right. You know. That's where I feel like that's God mm-hmm. talking to me, you know, and, and that's a weird thing to say. But, you know, I don't know if you understood what I was saying. No, no, no. But no. But what I'm saying is like just 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 pure happiness, pure and, happiness. and love. When you feel that love and happiness and yep. joy in your heart, that's that's your little piece of God, in my opinion. That's that's God. You know, I can't tell you that's fact. I right. can't prove to you. But that's how I feel when I feel that joy and love, that whole warm feeling inside. That's the closest to God I'm gonna get. You right, know. right, and and and, and more I, than thoughts and prayers. And, <laughs> and I think when guys are getting uh, and just people, not guys, but when people are getting too much into it and saying, like, well, the Bible said this, the Bible says this, the Bible says this, and you can contra- and you can contradict yeah. so many things. And of course, mm-hmm. the Bible is man-made. Um, one one thing that I can think of is this: is that hey, our fucking just our own galaxy is among a hundred billion other galaxies. Absolutely. Each one of those galaxies have a hundred billion stars. Planets. One of those stars are already going over eight or nine planets on average. The chances of life is so crazy. It's crazy, yeah. And what do they believe in? Mm-hmm. Like what is their thoughts? I don't think it's the same story that we have. You know, I don't I don't I, I don't think there was, you know, Noah and all that stuff. I think that's more of what has happened in civilization. I think, you know, there was probably a tsunami or, you know, an asteroid impact that created a huge flood or like, I think, I think, I think, I think there's I think a lot of that Bible is based on true stuff. I think, can be. you know, right. Right. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah. Well, well, based on true stuff, that's all I'm going to say about that. No, no, no. Yeah. But, but, but I'm, I'm but, not going to say it's 100 percent. But, but not to sound controversial, but, yeah. but when you look at the aspect of a talking snake and yeah, like stuff like that, mm-hmm. they'll always say, well, that's more metaphorical. That's not maybe genesis but people believe it is but some people believe that <laughs> exactly, there's a talking yeah. snake saying that you can't eat an apple mm-hmm. and there was a there was a pig and they broke the rib and this created a woman and all that stuff like this is where it's like okay man this is this yeah. is this is a this is an alice in wonderland story like yeah. this is this is not probably how we started as humans now do we know the answer to this day we don't no. you know we have the the missing link on the evolution side mm-hmm. i personally think that man there was probably because we had dinosaurs and people still can't fathom that like yeah. that for millions, millions of years ago yeah, yeah. and and they ruled for millions of years yeah. like we haven't as a human civilization been for a million yet yeah they've been there for millions of we just still about slavery 200 years ago exactly <laughs> like but they used to be dinosaur land yeah where people were just eating plants or if you were a small dinosaur they would fucking destroy you yeah. with their fucking raptor claws and their yeah we had neanderthals you know? <laughs> and then we had neanderthals climbing up to the uh freaking dinosaurs coming down on their tails like fred flintstone it was crazy well That's there was bad. that that part well no there was no fred flintstone that never happened dude it says it in genesis it it does it actually say it no it doesn't I was say <laughs> let me quote fred flintstone 316 <laughs> uh, i don't think that part's in the bible but you know what is interesting though is uh, there is a connection uh that that um uh, uh there's a guy named dennis mckenna who is ten uh tennis mckenna's brother but there's a theory of the stoned ape theory which i thought was a very interesting theory to think about was basically that the uh um uh neanderthals ape people at that time they don't know how the brain for millions of years developed to how it is now i'm sure they did and a lot of them think that there was they maybe have uh because a lot of the animals in that time were elephants were cows um in many of these lands and they thought that maybe they were trying psychedelic mushrooms and this is what actually opened the brain up which i could believe that theory uh because uh yeah i could believe that theory <laughs> i'm not saying i've taken them but it's a, but but I'm just saying like I can believe the theory of how the mind can move and progress to where it is now. The Dead Sea Scrolls. There's a theory of that the Romans believe that they were taking psychedelic mushrooms and also the uh, the the whole thing with the burning bush. That bush in Egypt has is filled with the chemical DMT, dimethyltryptamine. Yeah. 
I could believe that, like, you know, if you don't know what's going on in the world, and then a Let's hit. Let's recap. Uh, Mick's answer to everything is drugs. So <laughs> Apparently. <let's... laughs> yeah. Apparently, we all started because of some it. good <laughs> shit, dog. No, but I mean, I could believe, like, if a man did not, was going, did not know what was going on in a bush, and you just breathed a chemical like DMT, and then talked to God and created rules. I could believe that. I could believe because we just do not know what the fuck is going on in this universe. Why am I breathing? Every human here who's even watching right now has had that conversation with themselves like, what am I here? What is the sun? What is this? What is da-da-da-da-da? What am I doing here? I'm going to die. What the hell? That sucks, dude. Well, like, let me ask you this real quick. <laughs>